back to Let's Play Elden Ring for what I'm sure will be whew, quite the interesting boss fight. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know how this is going to go. For the first part of the fight, I'm probably just going to use uh, the regular attacks uh, to try to stagger the first boss. And then after that, uh, that's when things are going to get crazy. Because he just does a massive amount of damage. <clears throat> Should have ducked. At least I got it in that one time. Can we get a stagger, please? No? You want to try to get this guy before the Crucible Knight shows up? Because <clears throat> if you can do that, then you don't have to fight both of them at the same time. But if you can't... Ah, oh, alright, I was gonna say, if you can't inflict enough damage in the first part of the fight, I died to the misbegotten warrior, man. The Crucible Knight didn't even come over. The Crucible Knight is the actual fight. Um, the misbegotten warrior is dumb. He's stupid. Um, he's so stupid he killed me very quickly. Um, you really want to get, like, like I said, you want to get, like, a good stagger on him as early as possible how i just stood there and took it like he wasn't swinging a giant sword at me that was basically my own height just it sucks because we're not doing the kind of damage we need to do before crucible knight shows up it's gonna be a problem I just need to get, like, a decent combo. I'm glad that went so smoothly towards the end because I couldn't even see him. Come on. Be be attracted to Ingvil. He's doing all types of stuff to you. I, aren't you interested? You go ahead. You keep... You guys keep each other busy. Good God. Oh my god, he's like icing Ingvul, like he's not even there. That's what I'm saying, man, like this fight. Oh, Dodged at the wrong point. The way to get this boss... Solo? I don't even know. Let's try this Flame of the Fell God thing. Did it do anything for me? No, it's not going to do a thing because he wasn't anywhere near the explosion. <laughs> That's great. It's really fantastic. This isn't even the part of the fight that's the problem, honestly. This is the easy part. I know it doesn't seem like it. But it is. This is the hard part. He does a stupid, like, change. Well, I caught him in the explosion. I mean, that's not bad. Yep. Gotta have enough time to cast the spell before he swings at me. So you can parry this guy, uh, as well. If you're lucky enough to get the timing down. There's only, like, a couple swings that he does that I actually am able to get timing for. When he does that attack, that's when you can, like, cast your spell. The problem is... Well, that's an issue. That stupid tail that he has. Oh. Ah, oh, I thought I had enough time. But eventually, he will do that tail attack every single time he finishes that. Yeah, see, he... it just moves too slow. That's not gonna work. I need something that has, like, a little bit more oomph to it. Because that's definitely not gonna be the answer for me. Oh, and then I get stuck on the geography. 
much like that giant from one of my previous videos, when his health gets down enough, he uses that tail more. And that tail, especially if you don't have a shield, is awful. So if I can... I don't want to say I'm doing good, but I am doing pretty good. Come on, do your thing. You know what I'm waiting for. And then you're gonna do your tail. I was hoping that he would have let down that shield for like two seconds. You would have like given me a chance. But clearly... <clears throat> Clearly, he will not be giving me the opening I want. Come on, do your thing. So I'll swipe one, two, and I swear he's got a third. We were just going in on that time, man. I'm going on it again. Go ahead and buff ourselves one more time. Some health resource in case we get hit. Oh my god. We actually might get this guy. Oh! Two tries! God, that was beautiful! Ruins great sword, can't even use it. Nice. Man, that feels good. That feels good to be done with that. I really thought that that was going to be excruciating. Um, mainly because the last time I tried to do it, I had a lot of problems. I guess having the somber smithing stone plus five makes a big difference. A little weird. There's a grace like literally right next to another one. I guess all the boss fight ones are like that. I haven't really noticed. So we're going to run back down. God, guys, that, that's such a good feeling. To have that out of the way and over with. <laughs> like, I can't even explain to you how frustrating it is to continuously do the same thing over and over again. I mean, I guess you guys probably know, but, like, trying to get a different result and getting the exact same thing happen every time. That's not what I wanted, but I don't even care. I don't even care. Alright. So there's this dude over here, but there's also stuff up here. So let's make sure... There's, actually, is there stuff up here, or is there just enemies up here? Because I don't remember which it is. Well, I think we're probably safe on top of here for a minute. Jeez. Not much care about the sword guy. He doesn't have the range that the spear guy had. There we go. Perfect. Uh, ah, okay, there is something up here. Nice. Definitely need to do more magic on the next level up. As much as faith in decks are super important, uh, magic needs to happen so that we can cast some very important attacks. This would have been a good idea to cast that fire trap. Because now I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So he'll probably be around that corner. Oh, nice. L literally no damage. You do not want to get caught in that. Did we aggro that dude from all the way down there? So I found a way to cheese this guy. This one specifically. We might do that. It really just depends on how awful he wants to be today. So 
So far, not too awful. In fact, he's dead. But there is a way to cheese him. Uh, basically, you go into the room that's right before the boss fight. And, you know, where that one Grace is. And he can't do anything to you. Like, he can't even get in the room. Uh, and then as long as you have a character with a projectile, whether it's a bow or a lightning bolt or a fireball, um, you could just stand in the comfort of the side of the room and just continuously hurl it out until he dies. It's great. It's just the best. You really should have tried to kill me when you had the chance. That's the best you got, huh? That's the best you got. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that was cringy. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but that is really all that's up here. Uh, because then it just starts repeating itself to, like, the one guy with the fire sword from earlier and everything else that was in here when we got here. Um, really, the, the only other thing that I wanted to do here was defeat the... Stupid little, like, wolf dog guys, or whatever you want to call them, uh, at the bottom. So we will get down there in a second. I mean, I might as well just kind of clear out this area again. Nice strong lightning bolt. <laughs> get that guy, and then the fire sword guy from earlier. Actually, there's a chest over there. I don't even know if I knew that was there. That's pretty nice. I should have created like a trap for this guy, huh? Should have had like the fell god fire so like he walked into it. That would have been pretty cool. But alas, we did not. What's in this chest? It should be like a mimic and it just bites my head off. Smithing stone six. All right, I'll take it. I mean, you know, I'm probably not going to use it, but I'll take it. Go down here. Where does this lead me? Where even is this? I don't even know where I am right now. Am I going to die? No? Okay, good. Um, hello? Hello? Oh. oh, I know where we are. I, why did I feel like I was in like a totally different place all of a sudden? That was really odd. Like spatially, I just got very confused. Go ahead and take these guys out because they are losers. They don't deserve to live. Yeah, see that? And that's why they don't deserve to live. Because they're awful. Really? And does that thing come back? Because if it doesn't, that's great. If it does, that might be an issue. It does come back. I mean, it did give us 2,000 experience, but with my luck, this time it'll probably kill me. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Did you miss me? You did. Well, that's... interesting. He also has another attack, which he hasn't done. Really odd that he hasn't. And he swings that, um... that really big blade that he has. Not the spinny one, but the other one. And he, like, swings it in your direction. I guess he's just not going to do that today. I'm alright with that. Uh, let me just aggro both of them at the same time. That's great. And you can't even summon Ingvul. They don't even let you summon. Are they just going to come around the other side? Like, what's happening here? Guys? You coming back? See how you like a little trap fire. I mean, I don't care if that hits either one of them. Oh, it burned the ground. That's kind of cool. Flame of the Fell God is not ideal, is it? It's just not... It's not going to be what gets us through it. Is it? 
Because it just kind of does whatever it wants, huh? Yeah, I don't... I don't particularly think that that spell is going to stay in our repertoire for very long. It's just not... It's just not going to win any awards, guys. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yep. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, let's buff the crap out of myself and jump down there to my death. Let's see how that goes. Whoa, what? Did they, they killed me and then they made out. Kind of makes sense as to why they were both aggro by my presence. Uh, but let's go back there and kill them because, honestly, as long as you don't get them both at the same time, it's really not that bad. So I think we'll go the intended way instead of the uh, shortcut route. Because clearly the shortcut route is uh, made for people who um, are a little bit more level than we are, <laughs> to say the least. So hopefully the ruins will be in a place that we can reach really easy. And we don't have to, like, cut corners for them. You can also cheat those beasts as well. Um, and just kind of cheese them. We're not going to do that, because that kind of defeats the whole purpose. But you can do it. Go ahead and hit that one. Get a little bit of health. Come on, man. Let's go. Ugh. He can do, like, another attack right after that, and it's awful. Do that one where you jump. Yeah, that one. He can do another attack after that, too, so you gotta be careful. That's that attack he does after that one, in case anyone was curious. I didn't want to, like, say too much about it, because I didn't want to remind him that he could do it. Oh. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm just dodge rolling all over the place like an idiot. Thank you. Smithing stone 4. It's nice if you don't already have it. We already have it. So I'm not really super concerned about it. He's like, I know you're there, but you're not a threat yet. I'll wait. I'll wait until you are. Go ahead and plant a trap for him. Since it's, I guess that's what you're supposed to use that for. It explodes too fast. It's basically going to give him warm toes. It's really, it's really great. It's what I wanted, actually. Come on. Now that we have the ruins, I feel a little bit better about getting in on them. I was a little worried before doing all those panic rolls. Like, I don't want to get all that stuff back again. The problem is a lot of his attacks are very quick. And even ones that you think wouldn't, like, be anywhere near you. Like, like if you're far away, he ends the chain a lot sooner. I thought he was going to hit me at the same time I hit him, and I was about to get mad. Alright. Now that they're dead, we're done here. Except for maybe, like, one thing around the corner. Which let's pick up. I don't remember it being anything. But let's get it anyway. Smithing Stone 4. Woohoo. Alright, so. There's a thing that we can do with Redmain Castle. Where we start the next, like, big boss and how that all gets set up. Uh, I had said that we were going to increase magic, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So that we can get, like, a couple more casts off. Do we want to take Felgod off? Like, it doesn't really seem like it's worth my time. 
I'm not really impressed with it. I guess I guess we can always decide, figure out what to do later. In the meantime, guys, if you made it this far, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.